first visited Dakar, the capital of Senegal, when I was a little over 17 years old. I had won a scholarship to go to the University of Dakar, fresh out of secondary school. And my experiences in those days made me a committed Pan-Africanist for life. I spent so much time with my friends in Senegal, visiting their families, eating in their homes. Africa we are one and the same people. As far north as Dakar on the west coast, as far east as Dar es Salaam, on the East Coast, as far south as Johannesburg, all over Africa, we're the same people. Uh, and so Dakar for me was a revelation. I loved Dakar from the first word. I love the beaches, I love the sea, I love the smells, I love the people, their generosity, their hospitality. I don't know why, I love Dakar. I love the pace of life. I love the sound of the language. I find their women beautiful, elegant. In fact, apart from Bombay in India, I've not seen such elegant women anywhere in the world. So here I was going back to Dakar once more, so many years later. I've been to Dakar many times in between, of course. You can imagine what a great pleasure it was for me to be going back to Dakar. This time, not on a pleasure visit, but to attend an important meeting. I've been invited to be part of the preparatory committee for the next World Festival of Black and African Arts and Culture. <laughs> the first one took place in Dakar in 1966, in the first heady days after independence. The second one, which everybody in Nigeria knows about, took place here in Lagos. In the 1977, first tag 77 it was called. And now there's going to be another big gathering of African artists and intellectuals in Dakar, Senegal this time again. It's called Festman and it's going to take place in the middle of the year 2007. Professor, this festival of black and African arts and culture is an occasion for people from all over the black world to come together, look at our history, look at our culture, and think of our future, plan for our future, plan for the dignity of the black man, of the African, the African at home on the continent, the African abroad in the diaspora, the African in North America, in South America, in the Caribbean, those who were taken away during the slave trade, but who are our people because they come from our land. We have Africans all over the world. We have recent emigres, people who've been driven away by economic hardship to go and settle in Europe, to go and settle in America. Well, 
we are part of the same community. We have to come together to dream our future, to plan our future, to say, this will be Africa's century. We are going to regenerate the world, but first we have to regenerate our continent. <laughs>